Today, the nation taking time out to remember the great civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr. 405moms.com, Deanne Stein has more on how Oklahomans honor Dr. King today in News in the 405. Hi, Deanne. Hi, ladies. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was killed more than 40 years ago, and today Oklahoma City residents honored Dr. King during several events. This morning, dozens turned out for a silent march. In the style of the early civil rights marches, the group walked from the Freedom Center to the state capitol. Let freedom ring! Yeah. Let freedom ring! And our state's new governor, Mary Fallon, took part in the annual bell ringing ceremony with several school children there. The bell located in front of the Oklahoma History Center is our state's replica of the Liberty Bell in Pennsylvania, an iconic symbol of American independence. Dr. King taught us the importance of treating others with love, with respect, with dignity, despite our differences. Governor Fallon also said that a great way for us to honor his memory is to do what the Bible says, to love our neighbors and to take an active role in making our community and our state a better place. And another parade honored Dr. King at 2 o'clock this afternoon downtown. The parade started at the corner of Broadway Avenue and Northwest 7th and then proceeded along Broadway to Sheridan. The theme for the 2011 parade is Challenges Beyond the Dream. The honorary parade marshals were the Reverend W.B. Parker and E. Melvin Porter. For more news in the 405, just go to 405moms.com. And the Martin Luther King Jr. Coalition of Oklahoma City also held a program that featured Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. And we also have some memorable quotes from that speech on 405moms.com.